Hey guys, okay, so today is a very important topic, and it's a topic of suicide. Um, suicide causes, um, reasons why people kill themselves, and mainly it's about the six um, teenagers, not just teenagers, but um, kids, teenagers, and adults that have killed themselves due to being bullied in school or at home. And it breaks my heart because our country has like not or is not doing anything about it and it's not fair it's time we take a stand okay there are many reasons why people kill themselves every single day thousands of people kill kill themselves every single day and you know untreated depression is the number one cause of suicide but recently a lot of suicides have been happening because people are being bullied because they're gay and now it breaks my heart, not only because I'm gay, but because I have a heart and I'm caring and I'm understanding and I'm loving and I love you. And I want you to live because you deserve a life just like anybody else, no matter if you're gay, no matter if you're a lesbian, no matter if you're bisexual, no matter if you have a disability, no matter if you're, no matter if you have only three fingers or two toes, it doesn't matter. You are worthy of life just as much as anybody else. Okay, go watch TV. Um, it's, in your, it's in your jacket. And it just, you know, untreated melt. I have, I've written down some stuff because it just, you know, some of some of the negative life experiences that may cause depression and some other causes for depression include the death of a loved one, a divorce, separation of, or breakup of a relationship, losing custody of children, a serious loss such as loss of a job, house, or money, a serious illness, a terminal illness, a serious accident, chronic physical pain, intense emotional pain, loss of hope. That's why I always tell you guys hope is very important to have. And without hope, you have nothing. Um, being victimized, such as like domestic violence, rape, assault, abuse, etc. Um, a loved one being victimized, child murder, child molestation, kidnapping, murder, rape, assault, etc. Um, physical abuse, verbal abuse, sexual abuse, feeling trapped in a situation perceived as negative that you can't get out of, um, feeling that things will never get better, um, feeling helpless. Serious legal problems such as criminal prosecution, feeling taken advantage of, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, a feeling of not being accepted by family, friends, or society. And a lot of people do not feel accepted in society because they're gay. Hence why six people have killed themselves in the last couple of months and years. Um, Feeling like one has not lived up to his or her high expectations of those of another. Bullying. Adults as well as children can be bullied. It's not just children or teenagers that are bullied. Um, again, the above causes may, may, may trigger depression. And untreated depression is the number one cause of suicide. And, you know, know what the, su the symptoms of depression are. You should, you know, review the, de the information of the depression. And I will put some information um, in the link, uh, information down there for links for suicide. And um, if you feel suicidal, you can call these, these places that are open 24 hours a day. Please hold on one second. Riley, it is in your jacket. Get it. Give me your jacket, it's right here. Stop crying, it's okay. And remember that any unmental illness, including depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and others, may cause suicide. Riley, give me your jacket. I'm so sorry, you guys. He's just being very cranky. Yeah, it's Um, if you, if you 
or someone you know is suicidal, please read the information that I'm going to list, um, list under down there and take immediate action, okay? I love yous, and I want you all to feel like there is hope in the world. Um, you know, suicide rates since 1950 and 2003 have increased a huge amount. Um, emergency room visits for self-inflicted injury are 400,000 just in one year. All suicide number of deaths, 30,622. Deaths per 1,000, 100,000 population. And it's increasing. It's just increasing. You know, gender, um, age, you know, your race. Most suicides happen to be, I have it all down here in groups on the suicide page that I'm on. And white males are 22,000 suicides. White females are 600 thousand suicides black males are 1,000 plus suicide black females are only 330 percent black suicide or suicides Hispanic 1,850 on average an, an elderly person dies by suicide every one hour and 37 minutes um, on average, one suicide occurs every 17 minutes. So that means a lot of suicides happen every like 17 minutes. You add that up for one day, that's a lot just in one day. Huh? Okay. Hang on, Riley. Um. It just breaks my heart for all the people that have passed for taking their own lives. Um, I want you guys to know. Here are this, um, some of the people that we have lost due to bullying. April Hims, Jared High, Ryan Patrick, Daniel Scruzz, Laura Rhodes, Joshua Mello, Casey Hone, and James Rogers. Those are just some of the suicides that have recently happened due to bullying. Um, I just, I can't express how much it just, it hurts. It really, it really, really hurts. I'm going to put links down for the LGBT um, youth suicide hotline, I'm going to put down, um, you know, a regular suicide. If you feel suicidal, that you need help right now, I'm going to put down that phone number. Um, I'm going to put down military veteran suicide hotline. I'll put them down in English too. Um, but I want you guys to know okay, that. I love you and you're not alone and you know when I first came out from being gay I was scared because I didn't know I didn't know how I would be accepted and there's still some days where I don't feel accepted but you know what I'm well deserved of a life just as much as anybody else and so are you okay so are you, no matter what. Um, there's so many reasons why people kill themselves, you know, depression, um, you know, PTSD, rape, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. Gay and lesbian suicide, that's what's been happening a lot lately. There's a lot of information on suicide.org, and I'm going to put that down in the link. Um, 
and help out any way possible that you can. Suicide is, it, it's, it's not an answer to a temporary problem. I know sometimes our problems feel permanent and that they'll never go away, but that's not the truth. Things can get better, and they will. You just have to have your hope. Help save lives. We can save lives together. I don't know. I love yous, and I want you to know that. Don't give up hope. You know, there's I've attempted suicide three times in my entire life. And lately, I, I don't really want to say this, but I have felt suicidal. But you know what? Like I said, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. You can't come back if you kill yourself. And also, think about all the people that you're leaving behind if you do kill yourself. Think about your friends, your family, your loved ones. So many people care about you, including me. I may not know you, and I may know you, but it doesn't matter. I still care, and I still love you. So know that there is help. And if you feel suicide, please click any of the links that I'm going to give you. There is help. I love you. And I gotta go because this is breaking my heart. But just remember, before you do decide to take your life, try to reach out for help. And remember of all the people that you're leaving behind that will feel hopeless after you're gone. Please know you're not alone. I love you. Peace and love.